Hi, my name's Mark. I'm a repair technician in Wichita, Kansas. Over the next few months, I plan to be reviewing and discussing multimeters. Let's see how it goes, shall we? Now here, we have a Fluke 8800 AF, which I bought about a year ago and which is, was claimed by the seller to be very, very accurate. And uh, that's been my experience with it. Now, uh, we have here what I consider a verified 15,000 ohm resistor. And according to the fluke, it's very close indeed. Uh, it, it'll vary a little according to room temperature. I've had it measure 15,001 ohm, for example. Um, now we'll use this uh, as a current limiting resistor to uh, achieve 50 microamps current through the fluke meter. Okay, let's try and get a, uh, okay, there's just about exactly 50 microamps. Now, with the, uh, uh, by cross-checking it with the uh, uh, Fluke 8800AF, we can uh, get some interesting readings. Now it just so happens that 50 microamps through a 15K resistor will get you just about 75, uh, 0.75 volts. Let's make sure, let's get it to where the fluke indicates 50 microamps. And there's the, uh, the fluke uh, 8800, very close to 0.75 volts. Gotta go. Yeah. Okay, well, okay, it occurred to me that I should perhaps explain what the deal is with uh, 50 microamps. Of course, uh, engineers and technical people will already know this, but since about the late 1930s, uh, it was something of an industry standard uh, to use 50 microamp uh, meter movements uh, and appropriate uh, resistors and so forth uh, to make uh, a 20,000 ohms per volt uh, uh, volt ohmmeter which became the industry standard for about 40 years or so. This is a Simpson uh, volt ohmmeter also 20,000 ohms per volt and uh, uh, utilizing a 50 microamp meter movement. Now uh, this here uh, smaller meter movement is from a, a, a military PSM 37. Uh, I had to replace that meter movement on a PSM 37 I bought because uh, the meter was inaccurate on all ranges. Uh, it takes uh, about 53 and a half uh, microamps to run that meter and three and a half microamps doesn't seem like a lot uh, of difference but it did result in about a seven percent error on all ranges and that's uh, the trouble I was having. Um, if you can see here uh, we're going to have a very near full deflection on the one and yet not on the other. Okay, and this is actually the PSM 37 that was uh, repaired uh, using a, a, a new 50 microamp movement. Uh, it's a very good multimeter and yes, I own two of them. Uh, this is what they look like when they're all uh, closed up in their handy little case. Uh, very rugged, uh, very accurate, at least as within the resolution of a three and a half inch meter movement. Um, they are native 10 meg ohms input impedance, but they are switchable for 20 k ohms per volt or 1 k ohms per volt. And uh, I'm going to uh, compare some voltage readings here to a fluke. I know it's not really very fair. Right now we're on a two and a half volt range. Full scale 2.5 volts on the fluke meter 2.512. Now, for an analog meter, it just doesn't get a lot better than that. Let's try a 10 volt range.
and once again uh, the accuracy is very good. Now I can um, reduce it to let's say 5 volts look at it on the mid range of the scale and of course on the fluke 5 even virtually and just about uh, five right on the money with the uh, with the PSM 37. I, I really like that meter quite a bit, um, but still, and all, you know, when you really need to know uh, right now and with no monkeying around, uh, you reach for the fluke, and that's just the way it is. Okay, and just a quick addendum on the PSM 37. Uh, it does require batteries uh, for all modes of operation, uh, even the 20. K ohms per volt functions uh, still require battery operation. It's powered by six uh, AA batteries, and uh, as you can see, uh, the battery cover is uh, uh, insulated against moisture, as is the front cover. I'm not sure I would call the, the meter waterproof, but it's certainly water resistant. And uh, it, it consumes, uh, draws about uh, two and a half milliamps just sitting there with no signal uh, unless you turn it off. Um, it consumes about uh, uh, seven and a half milliamps in, in most ranges for full scale deflection. Uh, R times one ohms uh, goes about 75 milliamps from the batteries uh, uh, when the meter is zeroed. I should mention that the undisputed king of multimeter reviews would be Dave Jones with his excellent EEV blog. I encourage anybody and everybody uh, to visit his website and frequent his YouTube channel. It's absolutely worth it.